This is a quick review of the J-Link 32-inch widescreen monitor. I thought we would compare it to my main Samsung monitor so you could get an idea of the difference in picture quality. So let's look at it. Overall, very similar. I think it would be very hard pressed to tell any difference. If anything, the J-Link has a little bit nicer color in his shoulder. I don't know if that shows up on the video than on the Samsung. So let's pause here and take a look at a couple of other pictures. This is a nice warm picture of Maddox taking a nap. This is the Samsung monitor. And on this side, the J-Link monitor. I don't know if this shows up on video, but if you look at his shoulder again, there's more detail and color actually on the J-Link and there is on the Samsung. Samsung is just slightly washed out. It's not really noticeable, but if you look very carefully, my personal opinion is that the J-Link looks just ever so slightly better. So let's look at some others. This is the J-Link, and the colors are nice and vibrant. The color of the brick on the house, um, the red brick is very nice and very accurate. And this is the Samsung. The Samsung, I'm a little surprised by this, is a little more red. I don't know if that is more accurate. I'm going to actually say in this particular one, the red on the brick looks a little more like the house actually looks. This one, in comparison, looks ever so slightly orange. Let's look at a couple more. This is the J-Link. This is the Samsung. To my eye, they are very similar, but again, like with Maddox's shoulders, it looks like there's a little more detail. A little more color detail in the sand on the J-Link. It's a little more washed out on the Samsung. This is the J-Link, picture of a beautiful sunset. And this is the Samsung. I am hard pressed to tell any difference between the two. J-Link, Samsung. I have to say, I really like this J-Link monitor. I think you will too. Recommend it.